I was um, just checking on you to see if you remember about your little chat with Cameron. Uh, you know, I haven't forgotten about that. I am. Um, I just have no time. Can you please don't avoid it? You saw that girl, Trina, at Cameron's hearing. She, you know, she went on the trip to Niagara Falls with the kids, and I'm pretty sure they all shared a room. And Cameron and I have had that, the sex talk, but I, I do think that um, he would benefit from hearing advice from a stepfather. Yeah. Uh, you might want to rethink that, because I'm the last person who should be giving Cameron advice. Thing that Cameron needs is a guy with my history giving him advice or offering myself as some kind of pillar of societal norms. Cameron has seen how you treat me with love and respect, and that is so important. And you are teaching him and those boys to be good, caring, responsible young men, and you should. I should feel really good about that. Wow. Well, if you feel good about it, I guess that's all that matters. You have a way of talking to kids. It's very effective, and I think it's going to be helpful. This little chat with Cam. Okay. I'll do my best. I'll try not to disappoint you. I'm not. Just be yourself. was a great day, huh? Oh, yeah. Gail would have been thrilled. And I loved learning that I was an inspiration to you, becoming the wonderful nurse that you are. Speaking of nurses, has Lucy tried to recruit you for performing at the nurses' ball yet? Oh, of course. <laughs> it's the only time of the year that she's happy to see me. You better watch out. She's going to try to rope you and your whole family no, into performing. No, no, no. I think my family has had enough of this ball for the year. We might just sit this one out. You have your hands full raising sons. Never gets old. And it never gets easy. You did such a good job raising Lucas. If you have any wisdom you'd like to share, I'd like to hear it. That you wish you had done differently? Ugh. Only about a million things. <sighs> Top of the list is my denial when Lucas first came out to me. I blew that big time. And if I had a redo, I would make sure to let Lucas know that I loved him for what he was and not who I wanted him to be. That, my dear, is my biggest regret. I just want to handle things the right way with Aiden, too. You think Aiden's gay? He's so young, I don't want to assume anything. And no matter who he is or, or who he becomes, I just, I don't ever want him to doubt that he's surrounded by love. Franco. Answer it. If it's important, he'll leave a voicemail. Stepfather, peaceful coexistence, family harmony. Sound familiar? <laughs> hey, Franco, I will make it in time to my community service. Don't worry. Well, that's great, but I'm going to need for you to meet me and talk to me. So come to the general hospital locker room. There's a lounge there. I'll see you soon. He, uh... Wants to see me at the hospital before my community service. I'll walk you out. Are you sure the nauseas are on the house? I can pay my share. Um, no, no, don't worry about it. It's free. For Thanks. sure. All right, bye. Well, see you guys. See you.